Hey guys, what's up all? Welcome back to our channel. This is Hakan from Fun Web News Team. Today I'm back with another video on our latest add on for Modern Events Calibre. The name of this add on is Gutenberg Builder. As the name suggests, you can customize and design your single event page and all the elements on a page using Gutenberg Page Builder. So don't go anywhere. Well, as I told you before, Gutenberg Builder is an add-on that allows you to customize, or I could, I could say create your single event page using the Gutenberg Page Builder. So here first, we are going to install the add-on. So to do that, first go to Plugins uh, on your WordPress backend, click on uh, Add New, and click on uh, Upload Plugins, choose the file that you've downloaded from Web News Dashboard, after it is installed, simply click on activate the plugin and you're good to go. As you can see, now Mac and Gutenberg Single Builder has been installed on your WordPress. Now, if you head over to any calendar uh, menu on your WordPress, you can see that there is a new menu called Gutenberg Single Builder. Click on it. So as you can see, it's a blank page. We need to create a new template, so simply click on add new. Now, first we will add a title for event, and then uh, here from the blocks section, when you click on it, we can add different blocks, but you need to know that we've added several widgets to Gutenberg Builder. These widgets have been created by our team and developed by our team. So you can use any of these widgets that you need and you like for your single event page. It's a very simple drag and drop system here. So you can drag any of these widgets and drop it in this block to use it on your single event page. Now I'm going to uh, actually create a column here and then from my widgets I'm going to choose the event featured image and drag and drop it into my column on the page. So let's add a title and also you know just 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 a bit of content here as well and some basic information about my event let's let's say cost uh, tags and category and I'm going to add to my right side bar on my single event page. Now we can either click on publish to publish the page with a default style of modernist calendar or we can click on each block and click on this item here you can see to customize the style of each element on my single event page using the Gutenberg Builder. Now, for example, for this block, I'm going to choose my phone size and, and, and change it to 30 pixels. Maybe um, change my font weight to 700. Maybe change the style of the title itself. And I'll also change the color of my title. Both, you can see that I can make these changes both in normal style or hover style for them. Also from this section, as the name suggests, padding margin and title, you can change the padding and margin to your liking. The next section is the border event title. I'm gonna add a border here. As you can see, it changes. Um, let's just, it's, it's, not, it's not beautiful. Let's just remove it for now. Let's get back to, for example, cost section. You can change the color of the background. You can change the color of the font itself. So you can change all, everything about it um, and change it from the default style of Modern's calendar itself. So you can change everything using Gutenberg Builder. See, you can change the border, I don't know, of the, of the section, you can change the color, the shadow, everything, everything here, as you can see. And for example here, I'm, I'm going to change, for example, for example, the phone size of it again. Uh, you can change everything, really, using Gutenberg Builder to create the single event page that you like. You can do the same for all the widgets and all the elements that you want to add to your page. So we can add them and then you can style them. Now, when you're done with your customization and design of the single event page, simply click on publish to publish your first template. And then you can simply go back to the Emmy calendar menu on your WordPress backend and click on Gutenberg Builder again. Here you can see that we have our template added here. Now to use it, go back to Emmy calendar dashboard and click on settings and then go to single event under the settings menu. 
Now, in the single event setting, you can see that there is an option called single event style. Click on the drop down and choose Gutenberg single builder. So, Marvelous Calendar uses the template that you've already created for your Gutenberg page builder. Now, in another menu called custom event for editor Gutenberg builder, you can choose the template that you've created because you might create several templates. Here, you can tell my name is Calendar which template you'd like to use for a single event page. Now you can see that there is another menu, Default Gutenberg Builder for Single Event. For di with this one, you can actually choose a global, uh, you could say, template for all your single event pages. And you can choose it and use, use, using this drop down to select it here. So all your single event pages use the same, uh, actually, Gutenberg template that you've created. On your add-on. Now save the changes and simply go back to your um, you could say events and click on the link to see your single event page design. Now um, it's not pretty at all, the design is not pretty at all but you get me. I mean you can actually design and customize everything on your single event page using the Gutenberg Builder if that is the page builder that you are actually using. But before we get to the end of this video tutorial, I need to remind you that there is a very important point here. You need to go back to your settings and if you want to use Gutenberg, you should make sure that there is a checkbox disable block editor. You have to uncheck it to use Gutenberg Builder. So don't forget that. That's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching the video up until the end. Thank you very much for choosing my Memories Calendar. And as always, we would love to see your suggestions down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you liked it, and also ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos in the future. So, see you in the next video.